Hello and welcome to Connecting While Apart, a collection of life stories during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm here with Mustafa today. Hello Mustafa, how are you? Hello Angela, I'm good, thank you. That's good Mustafa. I just wanted to start off with Mustafa to try and get to know you a bit. So which suburb do you live in? Actually, uh, I live in Hawthorne East, yeah. And do uh, you live with someone else? Yeah, I live with my wife and my children. And who's in your community? Uh, actually, the, I have many friends and good neighbors. Yeah, and, uh, and also I have colleagues uh, in my university. Always I contact them. Yeah. Also, I contact my extended family in Middle East. So I was just going to ask you, Mustafa, you've got family overseas. So what language do you speak at home? Yeah, uh, um, I speak Arabic language. It'd be great to know, Mustafa, how long you've been living here in Australia? Uh, it's now more than five years. Ah. Yeah. And so, Mustafa, I want to focus a little bit on what are some of the positives that you've experienced during the COVID-19 restrictions that's changed you and your community? Actually, there are many positive points. Uh, I think it's also it's more than negative points. Uh, that's uh, the positive points in terms that uh, uh, in for family and friends that I spend more time with my family during the lockdown, uh, which I feel it is a good opportunity for us to spend more time with family. Uh, also, uh, I have <coughs> my children, like they got more support from me and my wife uh, during remote learning. Also, also, I saw some improvement in there, especially mathematics. Yeah. Now, how did you manage with a full household? <laughs> did you get out and about? Did you do some park? Yeah, actually, uh, one of the positive points that I found out uh, during the lockdown was I found out the beauty of my suburb when I was walking for an hour every day and found out the local parks. Uh, there are there are many beautiful parks uh, in our area, which I didn't visit before the lockdown. Yeah. Mm. And uh, also exercise outdoor. I feel it is it is uh, nicer or more active than uh, gym. That is I realized this also uh, in terms of uh, Shopping, I, I, I used to shop during the lockdown uh, using online shopping, which was very active, especially from calls. Yeah. And I think those people were very supportive to community as well during the curfew. Also, uh, 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 I was writing my thesis. It was a good time and perfect time that I focus on my writing. There are all, also some services I want to mention their support during the lockdown, like Come Care. Uh, those people also, they, they are supportive service, actually before and during the lockdown. So that's, it's, it's a great way that you've explained a little bit about how, you know, you've spent more time with your family, you've been shopping very differently, you've enjoyed your local parks and gardens. Yep. You've been able to do your thesis at home and things like that. I just wondered, um, how else has your community come together to help each other during this period? I ask about my neighbor always about their health and if they need, especially for the elder people, uh, if they need if they need anything. Uh, also, they they come to ask about us when they didn't see me, yep. like for one day or two days. Uh, I feel the all neighbor they were very supportive with each other yeah, during the lockdown. Wow. And yeah. will you continue with some of these things in the new COVID normal going forward? Yeah, I, I like to continue to spend more time with my family. Mm -hmm. would make uh, the person more happier and more supportive, especially for their kids yep. uh, and their study. Also, I recognize that shopping online, uh, it's uh, more active in terms of saving time and choosing the, so the suitable material, 
that you need. Yep. And what message would you give to someone if they're unwell? I because I'm originally from Middle East for that. I I, I think I want to to tell the the people here that I think uh, we are lucky because we live in a place where human more important than economy and we have a developed medical service comparable with many parts around the world. Then actually the Borondara community, this this uh, they are lucky in my opinion. Yeah. Sounds like a lovely message for the community. Did you want to add anything else? Uh, I am happy really to be and my family part of this peaceful and good community. Well, thank you, Mustafa. It's been a great thank insight you. to to having a chat with you. And you. we hope yeah. that the rest of the community will also hear about the good ways that you've, you know, you've managed during this lockdown and that hopefully you'll continue with some of these things going forward. So thank you, Mustafa. Thank you, Angela. See ya.